Hello everybody, my name is Kali Yasin Reis, and this is a Martian fighting machine. Well, no, it's just a picture of one, but you get the idea. I drew this picture uh, one night while I was up late doing some math homework. I did it to vent some rather strong emotions and to decrease the tension level overall. Once I had completed the homework, I was reflecting on the piece, thinking, I'm glad I was blessed in the way to express myself in this particular fashion. However, many people, regardless of ability, do not express themselves in any sort of artistic way, and frankly, I think that's a missed opportunity. I believe artistic expression has enhanced my life, and I bet it can enhance the lives of others in similar fashion. To, d to express this point, I'm going to go over some of the mental health benefits that come with art, and as well as simply self-expression in general. I'll also be contrasting artistic expression with consumerism in order to see which one is truly better. But first, let's discuss those mental health benefits of art. I, and many others like me, when taking notes, will often pepper the margins of the paper with drawings. I often joke with friends and family that this is my method of staking off, staking all, of staving off madness. However, there may be a little more truth to this claim than you'd initially think. According to Dr. Catherine Gritchen, when she was interviewed by Memorial Care for their online post, Seven Ways Creativity Boosts Your Mental and Physical Health, artistic expression helped her patients to combat depression, lower stress, and pres preserve their brain function for longer periods of time. This tripod, I think, is a good example of this, as, as I mentioned, it was there to help me reduce the level of stress I was experiencing at the time. Self-expression is another benefit of artistic expression. However, it deserves a little more time given how much more complexity it has than the others. Creative work is inherently self-expressive. This is because the creation always reflects the creator. I think this sentiment is best expressed in a quote from author Dido Powell, who wrote chapter 4 of What Should Schools Teach? Discipline, Subjects, and the Pursuit of Truth. In this, he states, quote, Art is about an absorption in the creative process of making a visual object that can reflect ideas, beliefs, feelings, and an understanding of aspects of the world around us." Unquote. What he means in saying this is that an artistic work will always reflect the deepest beliefs and feelings of the person who created it. It may even express things that the artist didn't know. For example, this tripod. When I first drew it, I didn't know I was really that much of a fan of the War of the Worlds or the artist who created this particular design, Henri Calvin Correa. However, upon a few weeks later, I find myself going through a bit of a War of the Worlds kick, and this was sort of an early indicator of that, and I just didn't recognize it at the time. It also expresses my general appreciation for science fiction and space opera. So we can see that there are some definite benefits to creating art. However, are there any downsides to neglecting art? Well, I can speak from personal experience and say that a lack of art risks putting you through a cycle of non-stop consumerism, which is not a place you want to be. Uh, to define consumerism, and paraphrase from the Cambridge University Dictionary, consumerism is a hyperfixation on the acquisition of goods. <clears throat> now, while the word consume may immediately make one think of food, it's worth noting that other things can be consumed as well. For instance, artistic media. Uh, to demonstrate, a, the Yahoo-owned news website TechCrunch reported in 2023 that the, news, what, the video streaming site Netflix had almost 240,000 subscribers. That's a lot of media being consumed. Now, it's natural for living things to consume. After all, you gotta eat. However, over-consuming can make you feel aimless and empty. And I say this from personal experience. There's many a time when I've sat down after having watched too many YouTube videos and thought, why aren't I doing something more productive with my time? And drawings like this, silly as they may be, give me more fulfillment, satisfaction, and are more productive in my sight than any of those videos ever would be. Even though this is another person's design, which in turn was based on another person's work, that is H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, I, uh, this drawing carries a bit of me with it. It's part of me, so to speak. And seeing it done, makes me a little bit happy. And that's why I think art is so important. It can drag you out of that cycle of non-stop consumption, and place puts you in a place where your mind can heal if it's broken, and where you can express yourself in ways you didn't know before. It doesn't matter how someone creates something. There are hundreds of mediums out there. The point is, I think people should create something. Creating things has helped me and made my life better, and I think it can make other people's lives better as well. Thanks for listening.